Well, my name is Anthony Bonsante, and you're going to be able to see this on BoxingTribune.com. Um, I want to thank everybody for their fan support, and when it's all said and done, we're going to go home with two belts. Has weaknesses. I don't care who you are. Muhammad Ali had weaknesses. Every boxer has weaknesses, no matter how good you are. John's are very minimal, obviously. He's strong, he's quick, he's got youth on his side, but there are weaknesses that we saw. Um, I did not watch any tapes, but my trainers, Bill and Lisa, they watched uh, a lot of tape on John and they, they saw some weaknesses out, as did they see a lot of strengths. But um, I'm prepared for this fight. I've never, I'm 36 years young. I have not been in this good physical condition since I. I was 21 years old. I'm ready for this, and without sounding arrogant, I plan on winning. So, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I, I'm ready for this psychologically, emotionally, and physically. I could not be more ready for a fight right now, and the leave of absence enabled me to do that. I, I've had probably the best training camp I've had, and we stayed in Minnesota. I didn't travel anywhere. I was close to my family. Um, my my two kids are here, along with my fiance. Well, my ex-wife, my first wife, my ex-wife, and my next wife. Same same woman. But I'm very happy about that. They're out uh, touristing right now. But I'm excited. I told them I wasn't gonna have any damn fun till after the fight. I'm. I have a 13-year-old daughter, Brittany, and a 9-year-old son, Derek, and they're excited. Um, we're going to have fun on Saturday because, like I said, I plan on winning, and uh, unfortunately, there has to be a loser, whether it's me or whether it's John, but John and I agree that no matter what happens, we'll share a green beer together. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, guys. So what did you work on in camp? Well, without divulging too much, we worked on just, he, obviously he's quick, he's fast, he hits hard, um, he's 18 and 0, he's got 15 knockouts, 9 of which come in the first round, so we, we know his strengths, you know, but we worked on some of his weaknesses that I'm not going to divulge at this time. Afterwards, after the fight's over, I'll tell you as much as you want to know, but at this time we're going to kind of keep it disclosed as far as that, so um, it's going to be a great fight, John comes to fight, I come to fight, they could have, like I told you guys before, they could have put this fight in a phone booth because neither one of us are going to need a GPS to find each other. We're going to be there. So uh, I look forward to it. What do you What do you think uh, John worked on? Well, he had a lot of... Uh, Yori Boy gave him a good fight on this last fight, and that was about six months ago. And I think he worked on um, stuff that he felt that he could have done better in that fight. I don't know. I didn't watch the fight, so I don't know what his weaknesses were at that point. My trainers watched it, but you know, John doesn't have a whole lot to work on. He's quick, he's fast, he's strong. The kid comes to fight, and he's going to have about 4,900 people on his side out of that 5,000. And it, it, he, he's got a lot of pressure fighting at the Garden the day before St. Patrick's Day in his hometown. I'm the underdog on this one. I've got nothing to lose, but I'm coming to fight. Um, I'm ready, I'm willing, and I'm in. Do you think you're going to be able to steal some of Duddy's fans throughout the fight? I think as the fight goes on, the respect that I gain, you know, at the, at the beginning I may have 50 to 100 fans, but by the time the fight's over, I'll have gained some of the fans, yes. They won't, they won't disrespect John in any way because he'll always have his fans. But I think the performance that I give, the heart that I show and the determination that I give, a lot of fans will appreciate that. And win or lose, you're still going to have a, a, a drink with John? Win or lose, I'm still going to have a couple green beers. If I can limit myself to that, it'll be lucky. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a big night for the Duddy and uh, their followers, but it's got to be a big night for you. Big fight. Oh, it's a huge night for me. I'm fighting at Madison Square Garden, the mecca of all arenas as far as boxing is concerned. If you look back to the 40s and 50s and 60s, this was it. This was Gillette Friday Night Fights at the Garden. And I love the old classic fights. I watch them all the time. And I hopefully I try to emulate some of that old school classic look because obviously I'm not that fast anymore. Um, I just come to fight. I give 110%. I show a lot of determination, a lot of uh, heart. And hopefully that's going to uh, carry me through along with the training camp that I had. I had a wonderful training camp. We had some sparring that I was very, very impressed with. And I learned a lot of stuff through the training camp. It wasn't just going in there and beating the hell out of each other. I learned a lot about myself, about my weaknesses, because God knows every boxer's got weaknesses. Um, Duddy has weaknesses. Obviously, they're minimal. He's got a lot of strength. He's quick. He's strong. He's fast. He's youthful. Everything a boxer wants. He's good looking. I mean, I know that sounds bad for a guy to say, but, you know, 
if you're confident in yourself, you can say that. And he's got a huge fan base. You know, in New York, day before St. Patrick's Day, you can't lose if you're Irish. But hopefully in New York, I got just as many Italians as well. So, you know, I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm going to put on a great show. And when that 12th round comes and the decision's made, um, I have no doubt that I will be victorious. In the last fight against Campus, it was Campus's experience that really gave him an edge. Is that what you need, your experience? Yeah, I th I've been in the pro game for 10 years. I fought a lot of world contenders. You know, I, I beat Tony Ayala back in 03. Granted, he was um, late in his career, but uh, I'm ready to fight. I, you know, John's a great fighter, but I've got just what the doctor ordered in order to beat John. And um, I will prove that on Friday. You mentioned the crowd earlier. Yes. No intimidation at all? No, I fought, and I mean, back at the Target Center, we had 9,000 people. Granted, I'm in John's backyard, but I fought in other people's backyards before. What you have to do is you have to tunnel, you have to have tunnel vision during that fight. You have to concentrate on the one guy in front of you for three minutes every round. If you can't do that, you should not be in the ring. I don't listen to the crowd. I don't listen to anybody but my two trainers in the corner, the referee, and when the thought's going through my mind. Um, and I will be focused, I will be prepared, and I will prove that on Friday night. Now you mentioned your training camp. John had the luxury of being able to go down to Florida and train down there. I'm sure you still had to work because you have a family to support. Does that make it tougher on you or is that is that more motivation for you? It's more motivation because um, fortunately for this though I had a friend of mine who funded me for a leave of absence from work. So I didn't work for seven weeks to train for this fight. Kmart distribution center in Chalkby, um gave me a medical, or not a medical, gave me a leave of absence for this training camp and uh, it was very, very great. Although I still stayed in Minnesota, we had adversity we had to overcome. We had snowstorms that we had to cancel practice for a couple times. Um, I had a couple things go wrong. But you know what? That only makes me stronger. I'm there with my two kids. I'm there with my wife. Granted, a lot of boxers want to leave so they don't have the adversity to overcome. But in all actuality, when I, from Minnesota, I'm used to that. That makes me stronger. It makes me persevere. And it gives me the determination and the motivation to go that extra mile. You know, I'm 36 years young. Uh, I've got nothing to lose on this, so I'm going to go balls to the walls for 10, 12 rounds, and uh, I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Recently, I was talking to John, and he paid you a very, pretty big compliment. He, he compared you to his dad, because he remembered growing up his dad was a fighter and had to work two jobs to support his family, and he said, you're going to be hungry because of that. Exactly, and I wish to commend uh, John for that comment. Thank you. But um, I am. I work full-time. I've got two kids, I'm recently engaged to my ex-wife, so things are finally falling into place, but yeah, normally I overcome all of that, and I still, I've got nine, lo nine losses, I believe, but those nine losses come against world top-ranked contenders. You know, Peter Manfredo, who's fighting Joe Calzaghe in a couple of weeks in England, I lost to him. You know, Ishe Smith, uh, I fought Tony Ayala, I beat him. Uh, Fought Roshai Wells, but I've always overcome adversity, and I'll overcome adversity on this one. Granted, I'm coming into John's backyard. Minnesota, up until late, um, up until recently, we haven't had a commission. So we've not been able to fight in the state of Minnesota. We've always had to go to somebody else's backyard. But I'm used to that, you know, so that's where the crowd, the experience, the age, and the wisdom come into play. You know, I'm in the greatest physical condition I can possibly be in. Um, unless I, somehow, some way, I think I found the fountain of youth. How long I can keep on, I have no idea, but I'm going to ride it until it's done. Last thing, we yes. talked about the crowd earlier. There's some hardcore Duddy fans, but they're just some boxing fans. Exactly. As the fight goes on, can you win them over? Yes, I believe with, like I was telling a journalist before, I believe with my hard work, my determination, my motivation, and the way I fight. Well, whether I'm winning or losing, and if you're a Duddy fan or not, it may sway somebody, you know, if the fight comes out in my favor, I think some people are very respectful and say, hey, great job. You know, I'm a Duddy fan, but you did a great job. And the thing about John is he's got very respectful fans. They, they appreciate a good fight. Whether their guy wins or whether their guy loses, they appreciate a good fight. And I'm going to hope to bring that to John. And when it's all said and done, if their fans come up to me, I'll shake their hand, wish them good luck, and say thank you. But um, I'm hoping to sway a couple voters.